low and wasn't to be SGS fight of way. This tutorial will aim to teach you about civilians and their role within the game. Now, civilians were the outbreak of battle in a city overpopulated by the influx of war refugees in previous years. Thousands of civilians find themselves now trapped within. The communists murder some 4,856 of them, accused of being collaborators with the regime in Saigon, or out of frustration at not seeing the city's population rise up on their side as some had hoped. It should be noted, however, that communist cadres will criticise these massacres perpetrated in Hue severely. The free world player will have to protect the civilians. Each destroyed counter costs one victory point at the end of the game for the free world player. This is to represent the disastrous political impact. The communist player, however, can use civilian counters as human shields. Each of these counters destroyed at the end of the game also costs one victory point to the free world camp and two victory points to the communists. The massacres perpetrated in Hue will contribute to the Viet Cong's moral weakening in addition to its military weakening after the Tet Offensive. So as you can see here, we do have the hostages, here are the civilians, they have free strength, they have movement of five, uh, of five uh, sorry. And as you can see, there's quite a few of them spread across the map over here. So as you can see, we have a couple over this area here. Some units may be blocked and covered by the communist forces. You can see that we have civilians across the map and they do play a pretty important role in the game here. Obviously representing uh, victory points, uh, to put it bluntly, but they also do serve a tactical purpose for the communists. And of course, at the end of the day, and at the end of the game, you need every point here. You must prevent them from being destroyed during the battle as a free world in order to secure uh, a more favorable political outcome there. So thank you and goodbye.